Well, with all the new information that we've received from Claris about the exciting future of Claris Pro, I wanted to do a quick little explanation about what this actually means as it pertains to FileMaker. So first of all, let's remind ourselves that FileMaker entered into a pretty aggressive agile release schedule. This was with the 19.0 version, which came out in May 20. That was a very exciting version. And since then, we've re we've seen the 19.1, 19.2.3, and .4. .4 is the current version. We've seen all of these releases happen and uh, really kind of averages out to about one release every six months. This is exactly what Claris is intending to do with the product. And we've seen some pretty exciting features come out in this time. So like, for example, uh, working backwards from our 19.3, uh, for example, that's where we famously got the removal of IE support in favor of Edge for web viewers. That was a big deal for the future of the platform. Also some enhancements in some of the machine learning functions that were introduced to us in version 19. And, a, and also, of course, Apple Silicon report, uh, support, which was very important around the June 2021 timeframe. In the current release, which we are in right now in 19.4, this gave us, uh, you know, some things on the, the Mac side, like some shortcut support on Mac OS, uh, customizable OAuth, identity provider support, and many, many, many new scripts and functions. 19.5 is going to be... The next version, of course, we're in 19.4, 19.5 coming out this summer, followed by a, another release of 19.6. So very aggressive new features uh, schedule coming out still for FileMaker. This, of course, will be in advance of its rebranding into Claris Pro. And you'll see here in 19.5, we're looking for uh, some improvements, of course, for those interested in Ubuntu with uh, version 2004 coming out. Uh, live text QR support, parallel backups, over 400 bug fixes. You see this is, uh, Claris is very committed to improving the platform. Uh, that's probably the most bug fixes we've ever seen in a release, actually. 19.6, uh, which is uh, no timetable, but some really exciting things in here. The developer community is really excited about scripted transactions. We'll have some new uh, OAuth management. We'll have uh, Apple sign-in and some user group management with OAuth and continued OAuth support. And just to see a full commitment on the server side, we'll also be uh, excited to see what's coming with server scalability up to 1,000 concurrent users. This, of course, is uh, when we're talking about concurrency. Uh, of course, we've got some more flexibility on the website. More of this information to come. Uh, and of course, the, the biggest uh, deal is the rebranding. So in the fall, the uh, we'll see a bunch of new stuff, but we're going to have uh, a brand new product. So showing Claris's commitment to the future, a new product called Claris Studio. More to come from us and Claris on what Claris Studio means. It's very exciting. It's a web-based uh, form builder with a really, really exciting future in versions to come. FileMaker Pro, as we know it, and I'll be showing you a quick demonstration of the compatibility between the two, or basically the seamless difference between the two besides the name. Uh, Cl FileMaker Pro will become Claris Pro. FileMaker Go will become Claris Go. And as you can probably imagine, FileMaker Server is going to become Claris Server. So besides that, that is really you know, what the difference is going to be. So let me give you a quick demonstration here and a very, very brief tour. There's, there isn't much of a difference to show, but this is what you can expect if you fast forward a little bit into the future. So first of all, this is the current version of FileMaker. This is the uh, FileMaker 19.4, specifically the 4.2 release. I'm going to go in here and just create a file. Let's call it... Um, uh, well, first of all, you can see all the different apps that I've got hosted on my uh, various different servers. So I'm going to just go in here and create a starter solution. I will save it to my desktop. I'll overwrite the same one that, that I have there. So now I see I have this file on my desktop. Let's go over here. You'll notice that I've got Claris Pro. Currently, they have the exact same logo just to show you how seamless these uh, are. I'm sure there'll be a new logo by fall. But if I go in here and right click and just say, hey, open up with Claris Pro instead. First of all, you see no errors or warnings or anything catastrophic by any means. You'll notice that uh, basically it just replaces... Um, you know, the word Claris. So the, you notice here that it says Claris FileMaker Pro. This will become officially Claris Pro. If we look under the hood, you'll see that Claris IDs for those cloud users only 
will be changed to Claris Studio IDs for support with the this really cool new product, Claris Studio. Again, more on that coming in the future. If you go into Manage Database, you'll see that um, you know it's the same kind of interface that you're that you're used to. One of the really cool things that's going to happen here is a ESS2 support for data the data that's actually going to be collected from the form builder tool, the Claris Studio. So that's going to be pretty cool. So that we'll see some interface updates here. But really, in general, it's just the same exact functionality that everybody's used to. So for those of you that are familiar with FileMaker, there have been rebrandings in the future. So to not to be confused with when there used to be two products, FileMaker Pro and then FileMaker Pro Advanced. And then they got rid of the two products and decided to just keep FileMaker Pro Advanced. And then they decided to drop advanced in favor of the current version of FileMaker Pro. This is going to be very much like that and drop the FileMaker in favor of Claris Pro. So, of course, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to contact us here at iSolutions. And if you have any in any interest and curiosities about some of the new features, stay tuned. We will be a resource for that, having had access to this platform and and a vital uh, a member of the team that Claris themselves rely on from an engineering standpoint uh, here at iSolution. So if you have any questions, please consider us a resource or any confusion about this rebranding, please reach out to us. But this is very, very exciting. This could arguably be one of the biggest years for the Claris slash FileMaker platform since probably the 7 release uh, 10 plus years ago. So really exciting things uh, coming forward for the future of the Claris platform.